Today we're going to be talking about the uh, grouping feature in Excel, which is part of the uh, part of the outline functionality. And if you've ever used the subtotal function, then you've seen the grouping at work. Uh, the subtotal will automatically insert subtotals and create a collapsible outline at the same time. Um, but your data has to be formatted in just the right way for that to work. Um, and in this case, here we've got a report that already has our subtotals built into it, so we don't don't want that. However, we do want to add a grouping or, or outlining to this. So it's pretty simple to do. Um, you just select the rows that you want to be able to hide or collapse. And so you see here that I'm leaving the, the total below them unselected. And I'm going to hit the group button. And there you can see I get this line over here now that's showing me which lines are part of this group. If I click the minus box there, then it'll roll up, so I'm seeing just my total. If I click the plus, then it expands it again. And you can just go through your spreadsheet like that, adding groups wherever you want. And you can also add uh, multiple levels of groups. Um, so here, we'll uh, select that. So I've got my total revenue group, my total cost of sales group within that. But I can create that group there. You see now we've got three levels over here. And we can use these buttons to see the least amount of detail or intermediate grouping or full detail. And when you're in here too, you can expand or collapse either of those individually. Now if you want to get rid of a group, you can just highlight your rows again over here to ungroup and choose ungroup and that'll get rid of it or if you want to get rid of all of your your uh, grouping you can just choose clear outline and that will get rid of it now in the case of this report the way it's laid out would actually get around get get along with the the auto outline feature so here in the grouping now I don't even have to select the uh, the rows that I want I could choose auto outline and you can see now I've got four levels automatically inserted. So Excel just went through and looked at where I have breaks, where I have totals inserted, and automatically created the outlines for me. And so you can, of course, you know, expand and collapse each of those just like you could before. And really, the auto outline is always worth a shot. Uh, to, you know, try that first. If you don't like it, you can go back to clear outline and then come back and. It, and manually insert the groups that you want. So all of these grouping or outlining functions are part of the data tab on the ribbon and they're really helpful when you've got a long report that you want to be able to make uh, more manageable, easy to navigate. Um, they can really simplify that process.